Posterior urethral valves is a rare condition that affects baby boys. They are born with a blockage in the urethra, the tube coming out of the bladder. This causes damage to the structures behind the blockage. In a normal baby, the bladder, ureter and kidneys develop at the same time. But in boys with valves, early on in pregnancy, an extra flap of tissue blocks the urethra. This blockage backs urines up and pressure builds up in the bladder. The bladder muscle works hard to push against the blockage so it becomes very thick and irregular. The ureter tubes become very wide and the kidneys may not form properly. The blockage causes urine to dribble out with a weak stream. This may be the first thing noticed about a baby with valves. In the wound, the blockage means the baby wheezes less. The amniotic fluid surrounding the baby is mainly fetal urine. If there's less urine, there can be less amniotic fluid. The lungs need plenty of amniotic fluid to develop properly, so in severe cases the baby may have breathing difficulties after birth. After birth, urine backs up. It's important to relieve the blockage, otherwise waste products build up. At first this is by using a catheter tube into the bladder, and later on with surgery to remove the flap of tissue. So what are the long-term problems of having valves after the valves are unblocked? Well, it depends on how much damage has occurred before the baby was born. Some babies have no problems at all with the kidneys and ureter tubes being made normally. Others will always have dilated kidneys or tubes, but they work normally. Having dilated tubes and thickened bladder makes the baby prone to urine infections as there's always stagnant urine in the system. Viscoeuteric reflux means there's backflow of urine back to the kidneys when the baby wheezes. This is quite common with valves and again increases the chance of urine infections. Lastly, sometimes the kidneys can be quite abnormal and don't function properly, especially if both kidneys are affected. This is called renal dysplasia. Blood tests will determine how much function there is to clean the baby's blood and an eye needs to be kept on the kidney function as the baby grows up. All babies with valves are more prone to urine infections. This has been a brief overview of posterior urethral valves. All children are different, so please speak to the kidney and urology team for specific details.